Hi guys, um, I'm back with a new tutorial on Scratch, and today I'm just going to be showing you how to make um, enemies. I got requested this in a uh, comment, um, just how to do enemies, that's why I, th I thought I might as well do a, a tutorial on it. Um, so yeah, I hope this answers your question, whoever you are, I can't remember. Um, so this here is an enemy which I've previously made, um, and I've also got a hero here. And I've got all these scripts. And um, by the way, if you don't understand these scripts, um, just click the annotation at the top of the screen, um, and that will take you to um, my uh, movement tutorial on Scratch how to make your sprites move. Um, yeah, that that's just to make this guy move around. Um, so yeah, if you don't understand that, click that annotation. And so we're just going to be going on the enemy now. Um, I. I'm not sure exactly what, I mean, it's entirely up to you what you want your enemies to do. I mean, you could have an enemy coming towards the main character, or you could just have an enemy, like, just walk, patrolling around the screen and bouncing off the sides. Um, so I'm going to show you both of those two ways. The first way, I'm going to show you how to um, make the enemy go towards the hero. Um, so you're just going to want to be on the enemy and put in that and put in a forever loop and then this is very simple um, you just want to uh, point towards um, this is the first way of doing it I mean you can do it another way but I'll just shoot point towards hero and then um, just move I don't know about f three steps um so that would just make him advance towards the hero like that but he gets stuck so that's not that good I probably want to go a bit slower than that as well um move him back there yeah and he's just moving towards the character and you can move around and follow him so yeah, I mean that's slightly easy, you probably want to make it a bit faster. Um, there you go, that, probably, that makes quite a challenge. Um, so yeah, um, and then obviously you'll probably want to um, make a variable and call it health. Um, Oh, um, um, you you want to do it on the hero and then make a variable on the hero, and yeah, for this sprite only, and just call it health. Um, and press OK, and you've got the health of the hero. Um, and you probably want um when when the green flag is clicked. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, set health to zero. Sorry, not zero. <laughs> One hundred probably. And yeah. Um. And then when uh. Okay, sorry. Go back on here and uh, just do another one of these. Just duplicate that. Clean it up. And put in the forever loop. Um. There. And just um, sorry if touching enemy. Um, if you have more enemies, you'll probably want to do a touching color um, instead, which I think I'm going to do. Um, but if you only have one, then you can just um, use 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 the um, touching that one. Um, but but if you do use this, make sure you don't. I mean, you could have like lava or something, and then um, you have to avoid that as well. But don't make anything that color that you don't want the hero to um, like lose health if they touch touch it. Um, so basically, don't make a red wall the same color as that. <coughs> and um, so then you'll want to change the health um, by probably minus one I guess and then um, 
this and just duplicate that, put that at the top. Um, and then if go to operators and put in this equals zero. If health equals zero, um, you could display a message or something, but I'm just going to um, do stop the game. So stop all. There. So, um, yeah, as you can see, if you get hit, you're losing health. You might want to make that a bit more difficult. Um, but yeah. Um, so, um, you or you could I suppose you could have lives um, make a live uh, live sprite and then like oh, I won't show you that but um, I mean you could have something instead of health I might make a future tutorial on how to make lives but anyway um yeah okay so that was the first way um, we there I mean we could make the um, the enemy just patrol around the screen like I said previously and so to do that I'll just take out these um, we're just gonna we want it to be quite random so actually when we, when we start we're just gonna make him go where is it uh, go to yeah make him go to that position x62 y15 you don't need to use those values I'm just gonna use them those values um, not in the forever loop, sorry, not up there. Um, so you'll just want to start by pointing him in a ran the enemy in a random direction. So just point in direction, and I think it's yeah here. Pick random. Well, if you think uh, ninety is there, so we would probably want between what zero. Probably one, yeah, um, and well, um, minus minus one. That will do. Um, so, yeah. Oh, sorry, it's a bit stupid. Um, uh, you don't want that. Um. Oh, I see, okay. It's a bit in the hang of this um, direction thing. Okay, it's slightly strange, but... Oh, well, I guess it'll be alright. I will just make him... What? 160? That'll be alright. Okay, uh, that that's just... Like, he's not going to go anywhere. And then, um... Why have I put this in the... He wants to start like that. Sorry, I'm... <laughs> not doing um, that well today um and just move probably one about three I'll put two no two point five should just be yeah just be um right and see he goes off to off the screen there so um you just want to put if on edge bounce so there you go and that will just mean he's going around the screen like that but as you can see it's pretty predictable where he's going so um well what we're going to gonna, gonna do is instead of this if on edge bounce um we're just going to put in um if we go if um that was there if touching edge um well, we'll do this command again. Um, point, yeah, duplicate that. Oh, <laughs> it's really weird it does that. Um, point in direction, but we don't want that because that is only to the right, and we want him to. Well, depending on where he is. So, um, we want, well, that's, I'm not explaining this very well. Um, but just bear with me. Uh, we'll get this direction, and. Uh, we're just gonna oh, operators plus pick 
random between, uh, should we say, 60 and 120. You might want to stick to the predictable line because, um, I mean, if you think in, like, computer games um, where you're sort of on a top-down view, um, the, the enemies do tend to um, sort of walk in the same direction. Um, but yeah, um, well, I think I'm just trying to wrap this video up a bit because it's not really going anywhere at the moment. Um, but yeah, um, obviously, obviously you can put in some obstacles. Um, if you check out my other tutorial on how to make an RPG, um, that will give you some basic uh, guidelines to making an actual game. Uh, which sort of incorporates this. I don't mention enemies in my RPG tutorial, but I mean, yeah, you can put in some enemies if you want. Um, yeah, you might want to again. You might want to go with the predictable line because this can this method here can go a bit wrong. Like if he if he gets stuck in the corner, he's just going to be going really um, you know, I don't know what the word is, glitchy around there, I guess. Um, so yeah, well, thanks for watching, guys. Oh, actually, no, before I wrap up, um, just do duplicate this and this, and then you can just make them go to slightly different areas, maybe 90, uh, 45. I don't mean to do that, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, just make that, like, 20. Um... This this is entirely up to you, it doesn't really matter. Um Yeah, I'll go with ten or something like that. Okay, so you've got quite a lot of enemies now. Um and you basically need to dodge these before your health runs out. So that'd be quite a good game. Um if you want to put it if you if you put in like um If you put in uh, like uh, I don't know walls, and then on the these um, sprites, um, you want to put in make make all the um, walls. Actually, I'll show you. I'll show you. Um, go in backgrounds, edit, and then just draw some brown walls. Um, this is again. I'm sort of doing what I did in my RPG tutorial, but I'll just show you quickly. Um, Yeah, um and then in in the enemy um scripts you just wanna put in a and here at uh, oh no not and sorry or uh touching um touching colour brown. Make all your walls the same colour. Put that in. Oh wait, just drag that over to there, to there. Put them all back in. Um, some good advice is um, don't duplicate your uh sprites until you've got the exact scripts that you want. Okay, so now they're basically um. You can bounce around that one see he's going a bit and I think he's got stuck in there so yeah um obviously that um check out my other tutorial on how to make sprites from stop from moving and um, when they hit the wall so you know how to do that because I'm not going to cover that now because it's quite complicated um yeah, I would definitely use the other way that I showed you previously, um, where where they don't, or you don't pick random. It's just a predictable line because it'd be actually I'll just do that. Um, just, uh, just get um, um. Oh yeah, you'll probably uh, wait. Point in direction. Direction.
direction minus 180. Um, no, that should work. Oh, is this the one? Okay, get rid of those in that. And you're basically done. Okay, hopefully that will work now and they won't glitch up. That's what I say, glitch up. Yeah, you see that one has got stuck between those two, so you might want to. Um, yeah, his health's gone, and I believe. Oh no, I didn't. But anyway, just move him down here. These sprites are all going in a pretty predictable line. Um, but again, they don't get stuck. And I mean, the more you have, the better, really. Um, yeah, I think I'll wrap up now. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope I didn't ramble on too much, and I hope this helped. If it hasn't, um, leave a comment asking me how you can make your game better, and hopefully I'll get back to you, because I know this wasn't a great tutorial. Um, but yeah, um, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, please subscribe um, if you like my videos. I've got an quite a lot of um, scratch tutorials now so check them out um yeah so see you guys